Okay, my babies are doing good. I just got everything pulled out, cleaned up, pressure washed, put back down. And I always put DE underneath it, everything. And I did see some ants over there. I was gonna look around for stuff. You know, dirt and wood, you're gonna have, and, and poo poo, you're gonna have ants and stuff. So I put some DE in that corner on the outside and on that post. And these fans are working really good right now with circulating the air. I did put a tarp out there to block the sun so I can keep the curtains open and give them that airflow there. The tarp wasn't long enough to go there, so I gave uh, Magdalena shade cloth there because the sun comes right in on that end of that cage there, but she still has some airflow there. Huh, yeah. So I got that done. Still got the tarp out back so when the sun comes out, it doesn't come through the back. I can leave everything open. It's a temporary fix. Huh. So I did a weigh-in yesterday on them. And Magdalene is 5.2. 5 pounds. 4 pounds, 5 ounces. For Sir Thomas. Mabel is 7 pounds, 5 ounces. Henry, 6.12 ounces. And Miss Princess is 6 pounds. So, um, I had a hard time with her. She kept moving. So, the ounces I'm not sure of. Huh. And that's what she does. I fill their baskets and everything up in the mornings. I come out here a little bit ago to do some cleanup when I was cleaning all this stuff out. Her basket was empty, and here's what she does. She puts her, pulls her hay out. Puts it on the bottom of her cage. So, I put some more in there, but she's going to have that... Why do you do that, huh? Why do you do that? See, they're getting their little pouch pouch going there. Yep. I know. I know. You're just so picky. You're just so picky. I know. She got mad at me yesterday. She was hissing at me because I wanted to weigh her. Weren't you? You didn't mean nothing by it, though, did you? No, I know. I know, baby. Okay. I'm going to see if I can make them some different kind of scratch scratch boards for in here. Because they love scratching stuff. They try to scratch the tile, but don't do them no good. <laughs> huh. Huh. All right, so there... They're pretty much ready. It's August, uh, middle of August. So I'm going to wait till probably towards the end of September before I start before I start the breeding. They're behind these ones, so they won't get bred for a couple months or more. Huh? You got to get up to weight. You're getting your little pouch, though. Let me see. Yeah, you're not too. You know, a couple more pounds. He's a little younger than her, so. Huh. <laughs> he, he, I'll come out here and be stretched out underneath that basket. Huh. That's your favorite spot, ain't it? And you see where most of your money goes? That's the feed I put in there. They like scratching it out of there. But I can't raise it. You know, I don't want to cut no more holes in these cages. So I did hose out their cages also. So usually what I do is I do one corner at a time and they'll go to the other corner when I do that. And then I'll push them over to that side and I'll do that corner just where they pee and stuff. So I got the cages hosed out as well. All right, I got some more chores to get done. Let me go see what I can do for some, uh, some different kind of scratch pads. We'll think of something. And the babies are doing good. Ah, getting on everything. And easy at night, they sleep back there, no heat. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're growing. We're growing fast. Yep. I don't see. See? See? If, if I didn't have that piece of cardboard on there, she would probably be down inside that. And then once I get down in there, they can't get out.
Okay, let me put just some more feet in there and then you should be good to go. Get all your stuff over there. And my hens have been coming in here every day laying eggs in this shavings bag. Yesterday, I got three eggs on top of there from the Marines. Huh. <laughs> They're all this room. Okay, let me put you some more feet in there. And then you should be good. My teenagers are pullets are coming out further. They're all the way on this side of the yard now. Checking things out. So I don't have any birds in there now. They've all been rehomed. So as soon as the chicks in the Chicksville shed get big enough, they'll be out here. <laughs> I did put feed and water in there as well as on the chicken run. Just that, you know, when they want to hang out or something, but Oh, come on. Let my seed sprout. At least. So, I'm going to leave them go. I want to leave it open because I want, I want that ground to get wore down a little bit. Hard to rake grass. Real good. <laughs> All right. They got in there. See if they can get out. They eventually find the door, don't you? <laughs> oh, they're not going to bother you. Yeah, this one here, she's getting a little bit of red in her comb. She may be the first one to lay eggs in a couple months. So, my flock is seven months, and they're four and a half months. Huh, you'll be joining the flock soon. You got to find the door. Find it. There you go. <laughs> Oh, long legs? I swear she got giraffe legs. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right. Head back to the homestead. <laughs>